But howdy, 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 y'all. Tracy here. Just me and the critters. Excuse me, I'm not picking my nose, really. It just itches. And, um, I know I still sound like crap. Um, and believe me, I pretty much felt like crap all day. Um, it's just a normal cold that seems to be going around everywhere right now. Um, anyway, it is September 15th. 2017. It is Friday evening. It is 10:21 p.m. And Bradley, that work. Um. Uh. Last night when he got off work. Oh wait, let me do the weather. I've gotten really out of out of sync here. It is 78 degrees right now, but real feel is 87. The high was 86, and the low would be 75. So. Uh, was a little bit warmer today. Um, I couldn't tell because I was running such a high fever. I couldn't. I didn't know if um, if it was my fever or if it was hot in here. Keeping hydrated. Um, last night when I got off work. Um, I can't really remember. I'm pretty foggy. I was starting to not feel feel as great. I think I made the video pretty late last night, so nothing really happened. I can't remember what we had for dinner. And um, I just went to bed. I did get a couple hats done between the course of, of yesterday and today, which I'll show you guys. Now, this one hat I started when I was visiting my dear friends, when I was visiting B and Barbara, and I finally got it finished last night, taking me that long. But anyway, this is the hat that I started while I was there. It's a large adult. And this is home, all homespun, except for this off-white, which I believe is something that, that B had sent me. And then this I finished, I started last night and I finished just a little bit ago. It's a newborn hat, of course, right there. So yeah, those two go in Maine. I am going to work on tomorrow, emailing, looking up and emailing some places in Maine. To, to find a suitable home for these. I just have been so sick that, yeah. Um, but, uh, so today I, I sat outside for a little bit, but it really does make a very substantial difference when the aunt, you no longer have an awning. Um, we could have, we could replace the awning. We'd have to pay a $500 deductible. And since we're not planning on keeping the RV, because as soon as we find a rental, we move in, we're going to sell it. This, um, we don't want to do that because it's an, it's an old rig. So, but without having the awning, it does make a big difference. And I'm a white girl. I'm always going to be a very pale white girl, and I burn very easily. I actually get kind of allergic to the, the sun. Well, it actually will break out in a rash and blisters well way before I sunburn. So um but it is it is what it is. Um I guess I'll just have to get out some umbrellas and stuff. Um hopefully we won't be here that that long. I mean we're gonna be here for months uh, until we can save up you know, deposit money and stuff. I mean deposit money and and stuff. you're looking at grand total with the first month's rent to be about two thousand dollars. So, you know, we could probably swing about a thousand of it, you know, in a given month. So we would need the additional thousand, which, you know, seven seven hundred and fifty to eight hundred and fifty is what security deposit is required. And you know the background check and stuff, and then I imagine there's some kind of deposit for the electricity. I don't know. But anyway, 
that's what all that meant. And you know, when it meant to happen, it will happen. But um, it's it's being shown to us more and more that, that our time here is pretty much done. Um, tonight, for instance, and everybody has a free right to have these fire pits. But right across from it, they have a great big fire pit going. I am highly allergic to wood smoke. Of course, it all was blowing right here. And I had the bedroom window slightly cracked. You know, so it'll draw the air through. Yeah, not good. And when you have bronchitis or whatever kind of cold I have and then that's going on. You know, um, yeah. Yeah. And it showed to us when we were at um, our friend's house how elated the dogs were that, you know, they need to be in the yard where they can run. It'll happen. And I didn't mean to put anybody off by saying if anybody wanted to buy any artwork. You know, I just, you know, I always want to promote my artwork. And, and, and I love it when I sell a piece. It just makes me feel good that people enjoy my artwork, um, you know. So I, I mean, I know I lost a few subscribers, and I'm sorry to see you go. Um, you know, I wasn't, wasn't e-begging. Um, you know, I believe that we try to do a lot of good out there too. You know, even though we have limited funds, we try to give back. You know, twice as much as we're ever given and stuff. And um, one of the things you guys don't know is a friend of ours, um, Michelle and her husband. Uh, gifted us some money so we could get back home and and even get groceries and stuff and that and in fact that's what will help us get to the doctor here in a couple weeks too and um, you know things are hard all over hard things are hard all over but I never want anybody to think oh well you don't want to watch me I'm not begging for money you know I'm just saying if 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 you like a piece of my artwork and you wanted wanted to buy a piece of it, you know, my Etsy shop is the link is always below. You know, if you just wanted to donate money, you can donate money if you say you want me to put it toward um a a um uh, for the deposits on a rental. Or if you say I want to donate twenty dollars, I want to chip in for the shipping on the hats or whatever or if you don't want to at all I'm not begging I'm just suggesting and you know um, it's all good it's all good um, you know I believe it's a community it takes a community to raise raise the whole community up you know um, but uh, anyway that's the situation on that Brad is off next Tuesday and Wednesday and He's going to call on some places Tuesday. I wanted to call this week, but we, with me being so sick and with him um, working so much, just didn't get a chance. I couldn't call because you guys hear the way my voice is and, uh, and um, I don't really like to call that kind of stuff. In fact, I wanted to talk, I wanted to talk with my friend B today. But I just was too sick, and in fact, I only talked with Linda just a short bit because I was just so sick. And uh, uh, you know, but um, yeah, hopefully Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll uh, call about a few of these places. There's a duplex we found, and it's a two bedroom, two baths. Um, and it got a fence yard, and it got a storage shed, um, and it's not too far from here. We know right where it is. We drive by it all the time. It's in a pretty nice area, you know, safe area, and that would that would do well. That would do as well. Um, they have a three bedroom, two bath. It's a little out of our price range. Same 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 uh, people that own it. You know, heck, at this point in time, we settle for a one bedroom. You know, we settle for a studio at this point just to get our feet, you know, on the ground. Um, um, what else? But it'll work out. I mean, I'm just getting frustrated and being sick. 
doesn't help. I'm not being able to be outside as much, but I'd love to be outside. So that doesn't help. Um, let me show you. I'll show you guys too. I'll show you guys this. Wow. Um, I've been working on this, and I started working on this when I was at my friend's house. Um, well, this doesn't want to come off right now. Um, and I'm still not done with it because I have been sick. But this is the 5D I'm working on. This is going to be for one of my daughters for Christmas. So, yeah. I'm about halfway done. Um, you know. But I have to kind of put it aside because I have to get enough hats done. And stuff. Uh, so, um that um i am starting to feel a little bit better because i was getting worried early i was so congested and i've been using a lot of my um abuterol um i may take i probably will take another breathing treatment of another nebulizer treatment tonight um but um finally got out what combination is working for me right now is because um, you can only take NyQuil one night and then the second night it wires me and the cold Elka Seltzer it usually does well for me but it didn't didn't touch it last night is one of these 12 hour Sudafed and then the 12 hour it's the uh, it's um, a generic brand of the Dulcum those two together seem to do me better. I'm not as congested and stuff. Um, I have gone back and laid back on a bed and wished for death a few times. You guys know how that is. Um, you know, and of course the dogs all follow me. <laughs> and, uh, um, what else I have to guys? Making tacos here in a little bit. Still need to do our pills for the week. Um, and then I need to, um, something else I needed to do. I can't remember what it is. Hmm. But you, you can't remember something else that you know you need to do. I need to do our pills for the week, and then I need to, oh, make dinner. I'm making taco. <laughs> So that's got to do a load of laundry tonight. I would have normally have taken it down there earlier, but I'm just too, too, uh, my asthma acting up too much with this cold to be able to do that. So, yeah. You know when you wake yourself up wheezing, you know that, yeah. Um, what else do I have to tell you? Guys? Nothing else really. Um. If anybody wants to send any yarn or hats my way, the address is below. Um, uh, you know, because these, these, uh, winter will be here for me. No, it needs, little kids need, uh, well, it must be some thunder or something. Nixie just dove underneath this chair, you know. Um, uh, these little kids and, and, and big kids, adults and stuff, got to keep those heads warm. Um, dogs are all doing great. I'll take you guys off, off my cup. Okay. See the puppies. There's the mama. There's Missy. There she is. See Barbara? There's Missy Mama. She's right there. There's Charlie. Charlie, you gonna say hi to Barbara? Charlie! Say hi to Barbara. Nixie Noodle! I don't know if she'll come out. She dove underneath the steering wheel. Barbara! Call her. Barbara, call Nixie. Nixie! You can come say hi? So Barbara can see ya? Oh, uh, nope. 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 Yes, that's a head. <laughs> that's a... This is a head right there. Charlie! What are you doing, Charlie? Are you a handsome boy? Are you a handsome boy? He says, I don't like it when my mom's not feeling good, huh? Huh. 
anyway, that's all we really got going on, guys. Um, I know I'll get better. Um, Brad did get Brad did call and get a new doctor appointment on the 27th, and I gotta get well before I have to go to the doctor. <laughs> and then um, we got me a new CT scan for the 4th of about October now. So, yep, gotta get all that stuff done. So, um, I'm still not having surgery until we get into a rental, though. Not doing it. All right. Well, I love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so much, and I think you guys are awesome. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.